This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to create a custom post view for our custom post types that we had created. We had created this home's custom post. We had added some content and use advanced custom fields to add custom fields to it. Now also we had created an archive page for it with posts using the post element. Now let's see how we can create a custom skin for that post. For that we are going to need Elementor Pro and Elementor custom skin. I will link the Elementor Pro website in the description. You can head over over there. Choose the plan. And complete your purchase and install the zip file. The second one is Elementor custom skin. Let's go to plugins, add new, search for Elementor custom skin. This is the plugin. Click on install now. And let's click on activate. In any case, I will link the Elementor custom skin website in the description. Now let's go to templates. Click on add new. And our template type will be loop. Let's enter the name of our template. And let's click on create template. And one more thing you should do is open up the page where you want to add the custom post view. I'm going to open the archive page. And let's start from scratch. The first thing you want to do is go to settings, preview settings and set the dynamic content as home. Now let's add a image. This will be the featured image. Let's click on title. Add it over here. Scroll down, go to ACF, click on this wrench icon and set it as home name. Now let's click on publish. We won't see anything here for seeing it. We will need this archive page. Let's grab posts. Change the skin as first of all go to query, change it as homes. Go to layout and change the skin to custom. Let's choose a template and let's go to select a default template and choose home loop. As you can see, home loop has appeared. I haven't added any styles, so this is just the basic thing, but you need it for checking out what your template looks like because you can't really see what's happening over here. Let's change some typography.
so every time we add a change we have to reload this now let me add some styles to it
Now, as you can see, we have created a custom post view for our custom post type, which is looking pretty good. Now, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.